Maria Ann Jacobs, born on February 11, 1830, died on March 7, 1897. Daughter of Delilah, who was a slave of Margaret Harnabill. Her father was Daniel Jacobs, the slave of Andrew Knox, who also had another son who was named John S. Jacobs. Harriet was born in Edelton, North Carolina in the fall of 1813. She escaped slavery and became an abolitionist speaker and reformer. When she was about six, she found out she was the property of Miss Margaret Harnabill. This kind mistress taught young Harriet how to read and sew. Margaret died and then Harriet was taken to the Norcorn household. Dr. James sexually abused her. Later on, due to the fact that Dr. James Norcorn sexually abused her, Harriet formed a relationship with Samuel Treadwell Sawyer, who was a white attorney at the time with whom she had two children. Joseph who was born in the year of 1815 and Louisa born in 1833 and died in April. Jacobs faked her escape when she was actually living in the storeroom above her grandmother's home in 1835. She really escaped for 1842. Jacobs lived in the storeroom for seven years. Ten years after the escape, Jacobs lived a tense and uncertain life as a fugitive slave. Harriet Ann Jacobs worked with her brother John S. Jacobs in the Rochester Anti-Slavery Reading Room and Bookstore above the offices of Frederick Douglass, who was at the time working in the newspaper called North Star. Harriet then wrote letters that were called Letters from a Fugitive Slave, sold under peculiar circumstances in June 21, 1853. She wrote a letter to the New York Tr Tribune talking about the burden of her autobiography, which was about her sexual abuse. After receiving her freedom from Cornelia Grinwell, Harriet decided to write her autobiography, which helped many other slaves and people know about what female slaves often go through. This autobiography was published in 1861 under the pseudo name of Linda Brent. In 1863, Harriet went with Louisa to Alexandra so that she could help them establish the Jacobs Free School free school for children of the refugee slaves. In Savannah, Georgia, she continued to provide health care and education for the free people. By doing this, Harriet Jacobs devoted her life to the welfare of African American people. She also ran a boarding house for several of Harvard students and faculty. Harriet died in the spring of 1897 in Washington. She was buried in the Auburn Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts, along with Louisa by her side. Throughout Harriet's life, there were a number of different circumstances through which she went through that were a huge burden for her such as Mr. Norcorn sexually abusing her, Harriet never gave up. She was smart enough to run away and begin to write her own book, which was called Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl, even though she wrote it under Linda Brandt. For this, she will never be forgotten. Dear Harriet Jacobs, we dare not forget.